Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video we're going to be looking at an electronic wiring loom. This is a simplified wiring loom and in this case it's made by bead speed. Um, what I'm going to go through at the moment is um, just showing you from the rear end um, up to the headstock the connections although the scooter is going to go on to and the subsequent video will show you some of the mods we've got to do to the headstock the actual wiring as such on this will not be altered in any way shape or form so if we start at the rear end which is here we've got a black and a pink the black wire is your normal backlight when switched on to give you your running light at the tail end and your pink one will be um, your brake light. Moving up the wiring loom we have the ignition which is green so that will go to your CDI and the brown goes to the rectifier or comes from the rectifier in effect. So that's your main AC feed up the wiring loom now to the headset uh, via the horn and the rear brake light switch. The next um, device fitted on the, the loom itself will be your brake light switch, which I'll stop dropping the wiring loom. That's your brake light switch. So one side pink goes to your rear light, brake light, which is the pink one, and the brown one is your feed in and out back up to the headset stock. The next chain of events along the way is the horn which in the simplified wiring loom is just a brown so that would go to one side of your horn uh, ac horn uh, 12 volt or 6 volt they both work and you'll have a white or another color going up to um, the handlebar switch for the horn so it earths through the switch your horn and it will start horning making the buzzing noise up in the handlebar are three cables. The green's the ignition, so when that's shorted, it shorts out the um, CDI, so stopping your ignition and the engine will cut out. The brown is the main feed, so that's your AC in, and the black one is your AC out. In this case, it just does the back light. Um, it will connect to the front light. Um, when I say front light, I mean pilot light, as the brown will. Uh, via the handlebar switch give you lighting headlight main beam and rear beam and also your black light will then be connected um, via the black so um, I am going to do another video when we actually come to fit this onto a GP and the subsequent um, alterations to the wiring loom not this loom the because we've got a, an ignition switch and we've also got the LI type handlebar switch there will be slight variations on what we need to do with the wiring we need to bell out what the connections are I didn't buy the switch so I don't know what's on the switch at the moment but simplified that is the wiring loom anyway that we will be putting into a GP and um, when it's connected showing you um, what the lighting's like and what we've had to do to get both the ignition switch on and the handlebar, the LI type handlebar working. Um, most scooters either have either or a cutout button like you'd have on the, the Series 2 LI. Um, the LI um, itself has got a cutout button um, on the actual handlebar switch as well. So it's, it's not rocket science anyway. And please look out for the next video. I do appreciate you looking and I hope that Along the way, we all get some knowledge and uh, we all get to enjoy it. Till then, take care. Bye.